Good evening. What you see here is an image taken out of the History for Granite's latest video called Analyzing the North Face Corridor of the Great Pyramid. I agree 100% that the eastern wall was supported by logs. I 100% support that this space, this chamber, was not a weight-relieving space slash chamber. This video will show you why. Why I believe that. Okay. So I made a quick model of uh, the uh, North Face Corridor. It's not exactly the same, you know. I'm missing, like, uh, a part of it. But let's just... I assume you can recognize it here, okay? Missing, like, the... Like, for example, the, you know, the, the log should go to, to the ground, you know, uh, not on, on the side like that. We don't we don't see the ground basically and the, the 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 log is not going at the just imagine it's the same thing just imagine this and this is the same thing okay i just didn't have time to make the the model exactly the same okay just imagine okay so my theory is that the north face corridor went all the way all the way to the bottom of the grand gallery all the way to the bottom of the Grand Gallery. At this stage, the Grand Gallery is only beginning. At this stage, the Queen Chamber is just a hole. No walls, no roof. So at this, at this uh, level, at this time, well, basically, basically, um, the the log no before i speak about the log let's talk about the log at the end okay let me read a text okay the north face corridor is the first low pressure air tank serving the grand gallery in other words it is the first vacuum tank serving the grand gallery the queen chamber is the second one because you need at least one tank in order to even hoist the queen chamber, chamber walls. Levels, I mean. Which means the same thing. The levels below the grand gallery were hoisted with the help of the bedrock subterranean tank seen in my video called How the Great Pyramid was built in 2 minutes 58 seconds. A tank can also be seen as a, a buffer between the Grand Piston and the recessing water below the subterranean tank. In order to decouple from negative pressure spike, quasi-vacuum, on moment of portcullis closing, this spike is the same hard pull you feel when you plug a, a draining bath, Expect, except it is air only, not water. The tank is as much a buffer as it is a vacuum reserve. The tank is as much a buffer as it is a low pressure reserve. This, this negative pressure spike when you close the portcullis makes a, a big pull, you know, and there's a risk at that point There's a risk at that point that the wall cave in, uh, cave in, but with the log, the wall can't cave in anymore due to the suction. So it's made that the western wall never, never caves, caves in because it's it's stopped by the e the eastern wall, and the eastern wall can't cave in because there's there's this uh, log prying it up. So basically, the North Face Corridor is the first vacuum chamber finished, allowing to power the Grand Gallery and building one level at a time, eventually actually building the Queen Chamber, building the walls of the Queen Chamber one level at a time. Thank you very much. Oh, I wanted to say also that this um, 
this log there to prevent the east east side from uh, caving in was needed needed uh, because there was nothing built over it so nothing could hold it hold it down you know at this point the north face north face corridor is finished while nothing is above it yet it is being used it is being uh used fully so you need this implosion protection Thank you very much.